Hi, welcome to another video from Togatech. My name's Dave. I don't know if you've followed my series of videos, but I've made a lot of different types of switch and button boxes for flight sims. And uh, the problem I have is the real estate on my desk here is very limited. Now, not only do I use flight sims, I use all other types of gaming sims, farming sims, uh, elite dangerous type games and so on. Plus I have an interest in photography and video photography. So I've been researching to try and find a button box that I can use for all these applications. For simulators, for Photoshop, Photoshop Lightroom, for music type programs as well, for music editing. Um, and I found this. This is the X-Touch Mini, Behringer X-Touch Mini. So let's take a look inside, see what we've got. Okay, so here we have the X-Touch Mini. And uh, let's take a look at what we've got inside. with some instructions. This is a USB connection cable. USB connection cable. And there's the unit itself. There it is, the Behringer X-Touch Mini. It's a MIDI controller, but it can be used for a button box in flight sims and various other projects with some external uh, applications, which I'll go through in a future video. But just taking a look at it now, you've got eight rotary encoders with each one has got an individual push button then you've got a series of a bank here of eight soft switches and then another eight soft switches along here and a slider control and then over here you can see you've got two buttons one smart layer A and one's marked layer B. Now these are mode buttons which is the beauty of this because instead of just having the eight rotary encoders you've got eight rotary encoders in layer A but if you switch to layer B you've got the different functions for a further eight rotary encoders. So these each one of these rotary encoders can do two functions so that's giving you a total of 16 rotary encoders, each with individual push buttons. And then again, the buttons again have a separate layer. So in layer A, you have eight there and another eight there, so 16 on layer A. And then if you switch to layer B, you can switch these to an alternate function. So you've got another 16 buttons in, in the different layers. So that's giving you like 32 buttons on here, 16 rotary encoders, each with a push button function. So you've got a whole plethora of buttons and rotary encoders all in one unit. It looks delightful. I mean, it's uh, it's about 20 to 25 millimeters thick. It's about 400 mil long. Um, 
it's got a little bit of weight to it, it feels very good. Each one of these rotary encoders has got a little LED to show you the position of the encoder and it's got a USB function. So I'm going to plug this in now, see if it lights up. Bearing in mind none of the software has been installed yet, I shall do that on a future video. But let's just see if we can light this thing up. And the PC will probably recognise it straight off. So it comes. Now the PC's just kicked in saying setting up your device. We're setting up X-Touch Mini, so it's recognised it already. Now this is a MIDI device, as I said, it's a MIDI device, it's designed for audio. But with some applications you can add to it, one is called Lorby's Axis and O's. We can change this into a flight sim button box. See if any, you can just about, I don't know if you can see that, you can just about make out the LEDs are lighting up. You'll see a bit of flickering but that's due to the shutter speed on the camera. But as you turn the LEDs, uh, as you turn the uh, encoders, the LEDs light up to show you their position and you can actually change this sequence to a single bar, to a fan, to a spread. All of that's done in the X-Touch Mini editing software. Again you can reprogram all these functions of the encoders and the buttons. Now that there I paid £53 on Amazon, not sponsored by anybody, but just to let you know, that gives you all of these functions. As I say, you've got two layers. So you've got eight rotary encoders with push functions and 16 soft keys on each layer. So if you've got that on layer A, switch to layer B, you can have different functions on all of these. So that will give you a further 8 rotary encoders with push buttons and a further 16 buttons. Hope you've enjoyed this look at this, this piece of equipment. In my next video I'll show you how to set this up to work with Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.